Welcome to the tutorial video for the Clara front lacing corset. I absolutely adore this pattern. It is available in sizes extra small through 3XL and for purchase on my Etsy. Please let me know if you have any questions throughout the tutorial and follow along if you want to see more and new pattern releases. So going ahead and getting started, I have eight pieces here. This is for my main fabric. I've had four pattern pieces and you cut two of each. You will also do your lining, so you'll have eight of your main fabric and eight of your lining. Right now I have my main fabric laid out. I am going to interface all of those pieces individually. I have a mid to lightweight interfacing and this is gonna help give my corset some structure. Now that I've interfaced each of my pieces, I'm going to start sewing, but side by side. This helps keep your corset really straight in case you get off a little bit before I connect the back. I did speed this part up for you guys. You are going to go in the order that you've seen here, connecting your center front to your side, to your back side, to your center back. All of this doing right side spacings. You are going to pin and sew these together. Do each side individually and it will look like this once you have sewn all of those pieces together. Now that you have those together, you're going to place them right side spacing and you're going to sew together your two backs. Remember you're sewing together your two backs, not the front. I know that's a little confusing because normally you're going to sew together a front and leave the back open, but this is a front lacing corset. Once you're done, your corset should look like this, slowly coming together. We are going to press all of those seams open. I'm using a tailoring hand. This helps everything just lay super flat. Now that I have the corset for my main fabric ready, I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to follow those exact same steps for my lining pieces. Once I finish off my lining, I will have two pieces that look like this. I'm gonna take those and place them right sides together and I'm going to pin at both sides and the top. I'm gonna to be sure what I'm pinning to really match up all of my seams and then if I need to go back, I will fill in the in-between. But I wanna make sure that all of those seams are really, really evening up so that way our corsets aren't getting off center. Once all of this has been pinned, I'm going to sew down the sides and the top. The bottom will be left open. Once that's all sewn up, I'm going to clip off any excess fabric and clip the corners so that those sit super, super sharp. And then I'm going to flip this right side out. I like to use a blunt object, normally just a pen marker or something to get those corners nice and tight. Once that is right side out, I will take my iron and I'm going to press the rest of my garment open until all of the seams look nice and sharp. Once everything has been pressed into place, I'm going to do a top stitch on both sides and the entire top of the garment. Once all of that is stitched up, we are going to start marking the channels for our boning. This can be a little confusing, so feel free to reference back to this photo. There are six channels in total, three on each side. The first one is going to be 0.5 inches from our first top stitch. I'm gonna mark that with my chalk, and then later I will sew that all the way down. Our next channel markings are going to be by that seam that connects the front to the side. It will be 0.5 inches from the seam and then another 0.5 inches from that marking, one inch total from that seam. Following that same pattern, we are going to mark 0.5 inches from that seam and then another 0.5 inches from the seam, one inch total in between those two seams. Once I have those marked, I'm going to sew all the way down, creating those channels that we will insert in our boning to. While I'm sewing down those lines, you can see I'm taking my time readjusting. I wanted to make sure that all my seams are lining up on my main fabric and my lining, so that way they don't get off and everything looks nice and clean. Now that I have my channels created, it is time to enter in my boning. You can use whatever boning you like. I am using a plastic quarter inch boning. When I use this, I cut about an inch short of where I want it to stop. That way I leave room for hemming or a bias tape if I reach to finish this. You can also either melt or tape off or cap off if you're using a steel cage boning. This helps prevent that boning from penetrating the fabric and coming out. We've all had those corsets where you kind of like feel the boning coming out. You don't want that. Make sure you cap those off so that way it does not poke out of the fabric and then insert in your boning to all of your channels. You will have six total. Once our boning is entered, we have what almost looks like a finished corset. We have some structure. I'm going to finish off that bottom. First, I'm going to base stitch the main fabric to the lining. And then from here, you can actually choose how you want to finish off your corset. I did this one with a bias finish. 
or you can close it with a zigzag stitch and hem it. This is the bias finish, and then this right here is the same pattern, same corset, but this is with a folded hem stitch, so you can do your options. For this specific corset, I decided to do a bias finish. You can either buy your own bias tape or make it with a bias tape maker. And what I do is, once I have my bias tape, I do it unfolded and connect it with the right side of the bias tape to the inside of my corset, matching up those bottoms and then pin and sew. Once that has all been sewn down, I then take that and move it over to the right side of my corset, flip it over and then fold that bias tape down again, pin and sew. This way you're concealing all of the raw edges so you're folding it over the corset and then folding the bias tape fold over it until it looks like there are zero raw edges, everything is enclosed and it looks like a nice clean finish. Once we've concealed all of our raw edges, we are going to go on and put in our grommets. I am using a quarter inch grommet. You can use whatever size you like. The way that I'm doing with my quarter inch grommets is I am marking 0.5 inches from the top and then going one inch down for each grommet, marking this with my chalk as I go. And then I will do this for the opposite side and make sure that everything is matching up and my grommets are placed where I want. Make sure you put, mark these and put your grommets right next to the bone. This will help the corset really stand straight and not pull on the fabric when it is pulled tight. Also, if you're following this exact pattern of using quarter inch grommets and 0.5 inches with one inch apart from your grommets, there will be a nine total for each side, 18 total grommets you will put in. Now I am putting my grommets in with a grommet press. If you don't have one of these, that is okay. There are kits you can buy and you can put in your grommets with just a hammer. Once you've done this, you get to lace up your corset. Congratulations on fitting the Clara corset. I hope you enjoy your new top and I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions and follow along if you wanna see next month's pattern release.